without delay. Get yourselves down to Park Scarlet's for the end of the early bird season ticket prices. Ends 31st of July. Well, George, welcome to Wales. You've pulled us out of good weather eventually. <laughs> it's nice, I'm enjoying it. So what, what made you come to the Scarlet's? What was your thinking? My thinking about European rugby is um, it can bring a, a harder physical edge to what I can, the way I like to play. And it can make me a more mature rugby player. I think it's all the Southern Hemisphere teams, the players especially, they always like to come play in Europe. They see it a lot on television, which is a, it looks like a fantastic tournament and brand of rugby to play. So that's the main reason. And this is a superb team. I'm looking forward to meeting all the fans and, and the supporters and just want to give it more, whatever I do. So it's Heineken Cup, is that the main driver in, in making the decision? Yes, Heineken Cup is especially a, a big drive for me. I would like to compare between Heineken Cup and Super 15. See the standard, I think it will be right up there. So looking forward to that and learning from that. A lot of people do come over from South Africa and the rest of the Southern Hemisphere, but sometimes they're a bit younger or a bit older than you. It's a, it's a slightly unusual age to, to make that decision in your career. Yes, I think I'm on a, a certain age of my career, being 25 and being newly m married and all that. And having experienced all that South Africa can offer, I haven't played international, but playing Curry Cup and Super 15 and all that, I was just looking for something new, something more, not a, a better experience, I think. So I was getting quite, it was the same thing over and over and over again. I was just looking for something new to do. So why Wales and why the Scarlets? I supported the Welsh team in the World Cup. I think they were, <laughs> I think they were very unlucky and they could have done Against it. South Africa? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they should have beaten South Africa on that day. And that's, I think that's a lot of people's opinion. And just the band of rugby they play, they expensive, they're physical, they just have an all-round good game and the scholars came up with a great opportunity for me to come here. So that's, I can be thankful for that and I'm going to make the most of it. A bit of pressure on you because uh, you maybe would have heard this before but the Scarlets last year obviously they provide most of the Wales back line. Right. It's the front five that's been their Achilles heel in the big games over the last couple of years. So the likes of yourself, not on your own, but you'd be a key member of it are going to be expected to firm up that front five to get the ball for those backs? Yeah, of course. Um, playing playing Super 15 has taught me a lot, a lot of tricks and all that. And I wouldn't say I'm experienced, but I can surely bring something new to, to the pack and we can learn from each other, which I think will be great. It's just an attitude, I think, of being a good pack. It's just standing back for no one and actually having no respect for not giving any respect to any of the players that you play against and just giving it all for your team. It's a team sport and the backs will do the hard work and the forwards will do the hard work. It's just a good combination and balance you must have, which I think is important in rugby and winning rugby especially. Because the, the Heineken Cup, you, you could be playing one of the top French sides, the likes of Leicester, Munster, Leinster in a bog. Yes. <laughs> It's going to be very different to the, the sort of top of the ground conditions that you're used to. Yeah, I think the field's going to be heavier, especially where I come from. I haven't seen grass in half a month. <laughs> so it's going to be heavier and it's, it's going to be more demanding, and which is something mentally you must prepare for, which I'm ready for and looking forward to. How ambitious are you in terms of target setting? Do you say, right, while I'm here, I want to win X, Y, and Z? I just want to, I think, what the Scarlets need is a winning culture and that's a quite a difficult thing to achieve if you don't believe it and sometimes I've struggled also with that same thing but the margin of victory is so small you make one mistake and you lose a game so the margin of errors must be much less and I think that, that, that comes with experience and I think it's a very young side and it's great people and humble people so that will come with time and Hopefully I can be around to experience that. And in terms of the first week, how have you found it? Brilliant. I've experienced rainy weather, hot weather, <laughs> wind and all that. But I started training this week and found it quite intense and all that. But it's a great, I think I can bring something new and 
add my experience to what I'm used to back back home and the way we do stuff. I think it can help the team a lot. So. And all the internationals come back next week, so then you get to see you know, George North, George yes, Hayes, yes. recently, as I say, that, Being, that yep. Wales back line in, at first hand. Of course, of course, and they've done a great job, I think. And being a sport of a Welsh rugby, I think they're one of the up and coming back lines in, in world rugby. They should have beaten Australia, I think, 3 0. And that, that comes from margin of errors. They just made one error and they lost the game. How would you describe yourself as a player, George? As a player, I think I improve every year. And it's, I'm never, never satisfied with what I I want to improve each time. And every year I want to become better in what I do. Experiences help me. And I think you get better with age. All you get, if I look back five years from now, I was completely, I was clueless. And I think that's a age and experience and playing is the most important thing. But I like to work hard and never satisfied with second best. Someone you would describe as a bit of a line out expert. Is that something that you see yourself as a big part, big part of your game? No, uh, that, you know, in that area? The line outs, yeah. no. I wouldn't say that. I had, I had a few a good players that I played with right. and they actually taught me a lot about line outs yeah. and it's actually just thinking your opponent and yeah. being better than them yeah. and choosing good space and just, just doing your homework on what your opponents do. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm the best line up player but I can actually bring that edge and working with Danny and he's actually very intense on detail yeah. which is a fine part and the smallest detail makes the biggest difference. Yeah. Are there any players you've sort of modelled yourself on? Any players in South Africa or anyone? I used to be mentored by um, Johan Ackerman. He used to play right. for South Africa yeah, yeah. back in the day. He was an old player, but a yeah. good mentor and someone yeah. I looked up to all the time. And South Africa had a lot of good yeah. second rows. George, watching the YouTube clips, you seem a fairly uncompromising ball carrier. Is that, is that a big part of your game? You, you, you look to take the, the, the ball up? Straight, in the straight direction. To straight. That one. <laughs> yeah. That's the way we got brought up there back home. And you tuck it on the one arm and you go straight and on. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get some feet and yeah. move it around a bit. But you, I got the impression you, you relish the physical challenge, like you said. Yes, yeah, of course. I think you must break a team down. You break them down physically for the, the glory boys to go out wide. <laughs> you got a few of those. Yeah. <laughs>